Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about data driven testing by using Excel file. See in the, my previous video I explained like script level how we can able to use data and how we can able to achieve those things we discussed about in that video and coming to in this video we are going to taking care about Excel file. And in the, my previous video, we created one login resource file. In there, we created for the keywords. In this, using these keywords, and we are going to create for some keyword here in the test case place. And we are verifying some positive and negative scenarios, correct? Positive values, a neg a negative value, and positive value. Both the values we are using the for test data. And here the template place we are using for field key login keyword in that based upon that whenever we want to run a multiple times with the positive and negative scenarios the both the combination we are using here correct and also we finding that uh, multiple time running and seeing the our result is main our concentration right particular press key is basically to removing the any value presented is already in the text box place we are going to clearing that okay and we are passing the values here the similar format we are going to use for excel file and how we can able to achieve our excel file means before going to write for excel sheet and we need to install this one into a pip install robot framework iPhone data driven XLS means it will support for XLS file and that file we can able to use and we can able to uh, doing for our operations. It, this one is inbuilt it will support for some data driven framework for Excel file or CSV file any kind of file you are using this data driven framework it will work okay. You need to open this for a copy in this one and open for CMD command prompt and paste and install. I have already installed, but if you click also, it will doing some. If it is already satisfied this requirement and all, it will show it. Okay. See here requirement is already satisfied. Everything is required is already satisfied. Like that you will get. In case if you already installed. But you are not installed. This is the first time means it will give you a success message. Okay. Once it is completed close that one. Then open our PyCharm. And go to files. And go to settings. Here there are couple of things we need to install. Okay. Then based upon that installation only you need to go for next step. Okay. And project. Expand this one. And Python interpreter. And plus icon. And plus icon. Here also you have to search. Robot. Framework. iPhone. Data. Driven. data driver this is the, our main file and you can able to specify which version you want you can able to select or else you can directly install the package once you click the install it will show you for success message okay once it is get you can close this one okay go to plugins and here you need to uh, add one plugin that is excel reader Okay, Excel reader is the file. You need to add the plugin. Add this plugin, it will ask you to restart your PyCharm. Then you can click for that restart and you can able to do for restarting that particular PyCharm. In case if it is not asking in your case, then you can able to close all the things and restart your system and again go ahead. Okay, it need to be delete for some uh, unwanted data. That's it. Okay. Then click OK. Once it is done, just I'm copying this file. 
okay now i'm going to create one file here i'm using everything is same but uh, only for uh, tc05 dot robot okay i'm just i'm copying here okay and here we need to couple of things we need to change once you install the robot framework after that you restarted your system uh, not only system the pycharm in case if it is asking to restart pycharm means it is good to go once it is restart your pycharm then you can able to in the last the resource file after resource file you can keep mouse and enter you have to check the first one is library one two three four you have to write for data driver whether it is working or not you have to check Once it is there, then you need to give us some space. Okay. Then you need to specify that file where the, your file it is presented. Before going to provide the file, you need to understand that where we can able to provide means just right click on your project and new. You, you can able to create one directory that is test data. Okay. Once you create the folder that one and after that you need to create for one Excel file. You can able to create another location and then you can able to use it for your Excel file. And in my case, I yeah, already presented here. See, this is the one you need to specify. Dollar curly brace username and dollar curly brace password. And you can able to provide n number of values. Okay in the name of name place names and password place passwords like that you can pass n number of values okay and once you done this one and save that excel file and keep it into our test data place okay to consume that test data file you can able to use for dot dot cross test data again you can able to use for login underscore page dot xlsx okay once you provide that that file you can able to provide another thing like now we provided for the location of our file where exactly it is presented what data driven will do that it will capture that all the values on a sheets not sheet it is a sheets means it will capture for all the sheets in case if you are not given any sheet name then how we can able to validate in case if the different different values are presented the login time it will go wrong right Without going wrong means we need to use for sheet. Particular sheet name we need to provide. For that sheet underscore name we can able to provide here there is a sheet which sheet we are working. In case if you are working only for sheet then you can able to specify that sheet name. Uh, if you are added your own name of the sheet then you need to provide. Even I'm going to show you for Excel sheet with the valid values. Now you can able to see here what exactly I copy pasted. Same thing here it is there. Dollar user curly brace username. Dollar curly brace password. Admin 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 password. Okay. 
and this is the way we are going to store, uh, save the values then we are going, coming to here okay now we need to access those things for before going to this we need to see now here i used for username correct username exact name i used and i need to pass here same okay then password is the one password but remember what are the values you provided like naming conventions same naming conventions you have to use for this names this name should be match okay otherwise it will give you some fail or uh, means it is the uh, that particular name it is not able to find out like that it will give some error after that we can able to remove these things we'll remove the last now again in here okay now we removed for all other things now we are going to calling our data driven how we can able to means we need to pro provide the test case name that is a uh, login orange h r m i'll specify then we can able to use using then i'm going to use for a dollar curly brace username okay single space dollar curly brace pwd okay now i'm going to remove this the top one see what i done here orange hrm i given and two spaces after that i use for using using is the keyword to using this values and without this also we can able to use it but we need to see that inside the output whether the it is taking the valid username password from that excel sheet what we provided the excel sheet though values it is able to taking or not we are going to see in the logs for that we are using for username and password for this using it will use this one and data driven it will capture the all the values from that sheet okay and what happen whenever this file particular file it is loaded when it is seeing that dollar curly brace username then it will think it is a header we need to capture the values under this means whenever it is find the dollar curly brace username and curly brace then it will think this entire column values we can able to store for the related to username then it will store stuff separate in case if you are provided here status and you are using the pass fail then it will not find because it will think it is a normal column the data is presented but it will not take it up okay and when you define a state uh, dollar and curly brace and inside the value and curly brace closing that that down of the values it will think that particular values related to that particular status like that it will think okay once you specified everything and can able to see nothing much different everything is same which we done the previous video past two and negative scenario verification same thing we are using here also same okay but only thing is we are not providing test data in a test case place and just we are creating on test case using and username password that will work out for every time and it will goes for past two and negative scenario both it will compares okay now we can able to see here now i am going to use for fifth one 25th and you can able to see it should open our browser then it need to load that up a browser then it need to take the values from the excel file then it need to gives it
in case sometimes uh, we are not required to install this particular data driven file in case if you are facing some issue this also once it is the uh, completion then i will explain you So now our test case is pass. Okay. Even we can able to go for the logs and we can able to see the report log. We can able to go and see. So in the 25 test case and I'm going to first and you can able to keyword field one you can able to go down you can able to see username password place also it we can admin admin our first value is same right capital admin and small admin and even you can able to see another test case which is the name it is present capital admin and small admin one two three or positive value same right this uh, values we can able to choose and we can able to verify values okay and uh, now there is a small uh, note here first don't install this one okay go to install for here data driven then excel reader these two software you can able to install here I showed already right in the settings location the place symbol you need to install for Excel reader and project place you need to install for data driven. Okay, once you both are installed and you restarted your Py, uh, this PyCharm, then you can try for library for spaces and data driven. Once it is given the green color like this, then no need to install for this particular file in case if you are not able to read this particular data driven and whenever you are running here that moment you will get some error okay you have to install for external uh, driver that moment you can able to install this software okay otherwise until that don't install in case if it is supported is a great if it is not supported then you can able to install okay based upon your error, error convenient okay this is all about for data driven using i hope you understand this video if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget your making some comments on this video thank you